Ooh, YouTube. It's Snake here with some more, or with not some more, with review on two free downloadable versions of software, of screen recording software. This one is going to be on Fraps to the left and EasyVid to the right. Now for one thing already, Fraps, off the bat, Fraps, when you download it, it only it practically gives you a demo so you can't do anything and I guess also like the quality of the program is is depends on the program you're using because like when you watch the actual video after you finished because when I when I saw it on my uh, media player my Windows media it sucked big time but then when I changed it to VLC, it, the quality turned out to be better. When I, when, but also when I say it sucked, I mean like in order to get good quality, it, the actual window had to be about the size of this. Because if you maximize it, then it's all blurry to the point where you swear you're at the eye doctor and you can't see anything. And you're like blind. But it's like just really blurry. But then when I put it on VLC, then I got good quality just it lags a lot yeah like just oh yeah and another thing it well besides it being laggy uh, it just I don't I don't think I think fraps is good I guess with the I guess it I guess it's just the VLC I mean VLC is I guess it's just the actual media player that I was having pro I was having problems with but with the lagging that can get annoying and another thing that can get annoying is this right here fraps the www.fraps.com thing a lot of people could be like eh, you need to get a cheap version like a cheap weirdo or some crap like that and just be like no it's just right there it's the demo version another thing that sucks about the demo is just um you can only record 30 seconds if you have the fraps demo version the free demo version and like it just stops itself you can't it doesn't even ask you you do want uh that or it doesn't even let you know you stopped like you could be still be talking and like in a minute recording and then all of a sudden you find out that you only got half a minute you just you could just get pissed and yeah so that's a really bad thing about that, about uh, fraps, and but it has good settings. But also the other, another bad thing is, it doesn't come with any editing software. I guess you could download it yourself, but it just depends. So yeah, but a I I easy vid. On the other hand, has very good, uh, what do you call it, setup. Like this. Right here. There, you, you can add that. You can add, like, your own little screen thing. You can add snake. You can, like, you can add your own wet mark right here. It doesn't let you decide where you want your wet mark. Like, you can't put it up there or there. It just, like, puts it down here, which is kind of annoying. But it's not, it's not too big of a deal. But then, like, look, you could change your songs. It just makes it just makes it a lot more fun. Three. And yeah, and like, if you if you do have like a voice recording, you could uh, move that to make your speech in favor or your mus more music than your speech. And but for the recording, for like it, this lets you actually record like your full screen, like all the way around. But if you go to, and like, yeah, see, it shows you your disc limitation and all that. For this, this is the annoying thing. Because normally for screen recorders, you'd like to do commentary as you're playing. But for this, you need something like, here, I'll show you in an actual new project. Like, here, I'll show you the quality real quick. Like, look how I made this video. This is real, too, like... Paul actually did destroy my world. That's why I made a new Minecraft world. 
Yep, right there. I just remembered. This thing. This is annoying. You can't. I don't. As far as I can tell, you can't hide it. Like when you start, but like you can move it to like on the away from the screen so it's not shown. But every time you start, this always shows. You can't move it like right away to the point where you can't see it. It can be unprofessional or something unless you want to show a video real quick. Then I guess it's fine with this. But if you want to do like a full on, I'm going to do a 10 minute video on Minecraft, then this can get annoying and feel unprofessional. Uh, so then you'd have to move that out of the way. The lagging on the screen is just my processor for this one, I know. Yeah, see, and it's like that. You can, like right here, how you saw with the... Uh, Look at what Paul did to my world. You can add text by doing this. And so, like, the annoying thing is, let's say I did that. And I want to start, like, a new project. When you do start a new project, this automatically pops up, no matter what. It's annoying because it seems like you don't want to advertise for them. So what you do is just delete. But when you do that, basically, you can't do a commentary anymore because it says right here add media or start a new project to enable like you know how I put my at the beginning it was like a black screen that said snake skin with a lightning bolt that practically um you have but the only thing is if you do that and then you try to uh s try to record audio it messes up like it's out of sync with the actual video so you can be like in the in the screen you could be killing a monster and then in the audio you're still mining before you even encounter the monster and stuff like that but if you do decide to do something like that what you have to do is click microphone and if you have a headset you have to click microphone first then headset mode and then because then that way it knows it's connected to your headset and stuff like that transparent mode right here I guess it's just to um, I guess lower the size of the video, but it makes your screen look very bad. Like the I can like reduces performance right there. It just makes so it looks make it makes it look very bad to the point. I guess you could say the quality's very uh squared or something like that. Like you see in those uh 240p videos on YouTube stuff like that but so I don't recommend this um the capture area is basically a region but you have to draw it out so like you know how in the beginning you normally have to hold down a right button and then you move like somewhere like you do this and then you go like that and then all of a sudden like a blue line comes out or just some random line and you highlight you highlight stuff with it yeah you have to do that and then you could start and then you can when you do that you can also capture webcam so if you have like a built-in webcam or a USB webcam you could be uh, recording gameplay and at the same time recording your face and that's how it is also another bad thing I don't like about this is well, a good thing is it's pr practically ready for YouTube so all you have to do is set title description what what the category is and I don't know about the keywords I think all the you don't have to worry about that because like when you upload it I think it does it by itself um, but just to be sure I guess put your own keywords and then like in the bottom right here where you can't see uh, it says upload to YouTube all that's gonna ask you is to agree to terms and agreements and then it's gonna ask you to log in and after that you choose the quality you want to upload it on so like 720 360 or 240 or no, it's 720, 460, I think. No, four. So I don't know. Um, it's it just gives you like three set, three different uh, qualities, and you can upload. My guess is if you if you're not in a rush, then I go for 720. But if like you're in a rush, rush, then go for like the lowest one. To upload on, and uh, another thing that sucks is like, if you don't if you just have video that you recorded, you can also record your commentary after it doesn't suck but like if you're the type of person that wants to record while playing then it's best to actually um, put
put in audio or something and synthesize i haven't figured out what that does yet like i haven't messed with it to see how it works but um as far as i could tell that's a meh the text i already talked about this really does nothing but send you back to the internet just to look up a game and that and here up here is going to show the help options this is what it will show you i get um yeah this easy which bothers me doesn't have too much of an editing software like the recording the clear recordings that go down here the audio the commentary you go that's down here um i there's there isn't any way to sync it up to your actual video like so you can't move it to the side or anything like that so it gets annoying and uh, at least i haven't figured it out yet so um i'd suggest that well i wouldn't suggest but like this just doesn't have any editing software which bothers me but still so for this one i between these two i guess i'm i, I don't guess actually i really recommend the easy of it like i guess fraps is good like if you're desperate or your easy of it is messing up on you so like i'd say fraps would be good with that but if anything i'd say go for easy vid another problem with that is like when let's say you upload like a three minute video sometimes it messes up to like the point where you're rendering it's rendering the video and then it messes up while doing it then you it doesn't save anything that it rendered you have to start all over that's happened to me a couple times and it annoyed me but then i just thought you know i'll just redo it or you'll be in the middle of uploading and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's not responding anymore or something like that. And uh, this takes forever to load anything. Like, it takes forever to even render what you recorded when you st after you stop. It takes forever to render the final version before you upload it. Then it takes forever to add watermarks. Then it takes forever to upload. So I guess it's just the whole process. But if, and if anything, I'd say go with EasyVid. EasyVid's a good one. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in my next videos. Have a good one. Uh, subscribe to me. Like the video, favorite the video, comment on the video. Hopefully it's not a bad comment. It'll suck if it is. But remember, at least easy to try it out. If you don't like it, okay. I like it. Uh, if you like fraps better, whichever. But so far I'd say easy if it's better. Alright, thank you. Peace out.